Hello again, this is Damien from Fiction PC, and today we have the components of our panic alarm system here for you. So, firstly, I'll go from left to right as we go across the table. We have the wireless receiver, sorry, the wireless transmitter, and here we have the GSM module, the SIM card, and the module itself, the antenna over there. This is the power supply for everything. This is the hold up button, which also triggers. This which relays into the GSM module. This, by the way, is the wireless receiver, which this sends a signal to. Also triggers the GSM module to make a phone call and send SMS text to let you know that this device has been activated. When this is activated, the relay trips off and it activates strobe light, siren. Simple circuit really. Right? Additionally, the program this GSM module, you need this device right here, which is a PC link. It runs to the cable, it runs to a keyspan USB, a serial adapter to keyspan, serial adapter to USB, and it goes to my PC where I do the configurations there. Now, the wiring for this is pretty basic, well, simple enough. I'll put up a diagram to, to help assist with the wiring. So let's get into the software here real quick. So this is the DSC3100 GS3100 series console. Um, if you go to DSC's website, they may or may not have it. I didn't have access to it because I'm not a distributor of DSC. You have to be a distributor or reseller, I guess, to have access to that. If you're just an installer, uh, no dice. Uh, all right. So this we have the GS3100 series console. Now, once you've connected your PC link cable to the board, right? Um, quick tip before we go further: when connecting your PC link cable to the board, according to the book, the instructions will say turn the jack facing away from the board. What I found is that these PC link cables are crossover, supposed to be crossover. The one they gave you is a straight through. So when you, if you get in communication errors. Just try turning the board the other way around, and that may solve your issue. It solved the issue for me, and it may solve the issue for you. So, moving forward. So, this is the software here. And, right, so this is, this one is the panel settings. So, this is one where you can, you know, set an account, you know, save the information from the panels you're working on. It's like a backup. So you can save this information somewhere after you download it to the board. You save this setting, you export the data to a file. In other words, all right, so we would save this one. Let's, let's just say we're saving it and we want to export it. You pick a file, a location on your, on your PC or where, whatever uh, you're using for storage, and you save it there. All right? When you want to you come back, you open the software later on, maybe to do some troubleshooting or just to check maintenance. You come, you import the data. From the same file, maybe you have to, you know, wipe and reload the board for some whatever reason. You change the SIM card or, or something on the board was given trouble. You have a new board, or yeah, you replace the board. You could simply connect to the board and open this file and then download this to the board. It makes it fast, easy, simple, and it will take what will normally take you to reconfigure everything from scratch. It will happen in like literally a few seconds. So, right, so that's that, and. The next one is to upload from the board. So as I was saying, you can use this to upload information from the board. So I'll just hit on it right now. And it's going to upload the data from the board that I have connected. So right now you see it's uploading the phone book data. That takes a little second. All right, then the next thing is going to have options, GPRS data, PTM data, input output, voice dialer, SMS dialer, and the voice messages section. Uh, yeah. So that uploads all the data from the board. So you see the phone book is now populated. Uh, you have the options and GPS. You have the status monitor. It's initializing. Give it a minute. And it comes up. It tells you everything is good. Green is good. Red is an issue. Or amber is a pending problem. 
right so you have the PTM input outputs this is where you make sure you have the right input and output set on the board so that it communicates properly I have mine in on the first one on input so it takes instructions and it's normally open so when the instruction comes it closes the circuit and causes a reaction so you adjust these as needed for your needs right? and the voice dialer is where you set up now the telephone numbers here 1 through 8 is the numbers that can be called okay eight numbers at a time now these numbers have sections locations one two three four five six seven eight that's in the phone book one two three four five six seven eight so these are where they, they are located now these are the phone numbers so you don't have to type in the phone number over there you just type the location and the voice dialer same thing with the sms right the sms also has the locations here um, with the voice dialer you can add messages see there's a voice message here you can record voice messages get the right format download it to the board and then you just select the messages from here so you see i have voice message one two three four five seven eight if i had something recorded it would say the record name so you can have a recorder name like um panic message or reminder message or whatever message you're gonna however you rename it this is where you'll find the message listed eight messages right one of eight messages you can record and you use one for message one, you have message two, message three, so you can play up to three messages per event. Right? So, and that's per channel two. So there's three channels one, two, and three channels. So this is the event when it happens and you restore when it's restored to normal. That means when the circuit opens back and when everything is done, or when the, the sequence of events is over and everything has been restored to normal function then you could get the restore section where you can also take the number right you say i have no voice messages you have to put a voice message first for the dialer for the sms there will be a text in place All right now you can call each number tell you how much time you can call each number how many times to repeat the messages and you have an option to call all the numbers or just one number and hang up if you don't have this check it'll just call the first number which is telephone number one and after that that's going to be it if it doesn't get anything from um, telephone number one, then it will move on to telephone number two, three, four, five. But with this one, regardless if number one answers or not, it's going to call all the numbers in sequence. Once it goes through the messages and, and whatnot, it's going to, as, as when it completes this, it goes on to telephone number two, completes that, goes on to telephone number three, completes that, and so on. All right? Same thing with the SMS. Input comes in. This is a predetermined text you can write your own text here up to 100 characters right so you have 100 characters including spaces to write a message you write your message when it's activated the sms is sent to telephone number one then it's sent to telephone number two then it's sent to telephone number three then it's sent, you know just just like that so let's demonstrate with the um with the system let me just get myself a little larger here so you can see. Maybe you might be able to hear. All right. So I will have my phone. I don't know if you could see this. All right. So my phone will be up. I'm using this instead of using TeamViewer because it, it failed on the first attempt at this recording. It just disconnected. So, all right. So we're going to use this. So what I'm going to do now, first thing I'm going to do is use the wireless transmitter to basically trigger off the system. You may hear a siren. I have it facing down into the table so it doesn't you know wake up everybody in the neighborhood. Alright, so here we go. Funny enough there was no noise again. There you go. Why I wasn't in power. So you see I got a SMS text. Alright and pretty soon I'm gonna get a phone call. I'll wait till I get the phone call. Alright, there's the phone call now. I'll answer the phone. Alright, I just took it off. So that's all I'm going to get. Two beeps. I have not found the right file that will actually play a voice message yet. I'm working on it. So, now we wait for the restore text because I just disabled the alarm. So we'll wait for the restore text. There you go. You get a restore message. Whatever that message you wanted to be. Now, if I set it to make a phone call, it would send a phone call afterwards as well. 
So there you have it. A simple way to install, configure, and program your GSM dialer with your alarm system or just a standalone panic alarm system and get it to work. Any questions, hit me in the comments. Uh, just want to say right now at this moment, thank you to every one of my subscribers. Thank you to every one of you. And I do appreciate you all. And just keep interest. Tell me what you want to see. Maybe something I can work on. If not, I could probably direct you somewhere. You know, we are in a community. We share information. And that's what it's about. We are sharing information. So as I did not find any information in English, in English, for this GS3100 series console, this is my attempt. I will be doing more work in the future with this. I'm going to get one of those GSM modules myself personally. And I'm going to be doing some experimentation and testing just so that I can have something, you know, proper to put out on the internet so that somebody could be guided. Because I spent two days researching this just to find information. Even though I couldn't speak Spanish, I understood what the guy was doing. I followed along. Not everybody has that patience. So I want to do something in English so that most of the English speaking community can, you know, understand. All right. So thank you again. And this is me, Damien, signing off on Fixing PC. Thank you.